Hello fellow gamers and welcome to the joy of building. If this is your first time watching us, I wanted to welcome you to the channel and thank you for watching. If this is not your first time, if you're a returning viewer, I wanted to thank you for your support and everything else that goes along with that. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to continue what we started last time. Before we get started with that, we are at 36 West, 24 South. Of course, we're going to run all the materials down there at the bottom of the screen. I guess we should address our vitals too, right? And so far, this, uh, this fire is uh, starting to grow on me. You know, we had some issues with it uh, in the last episode, and rightfully so. But yeah, it's starting to grow on me. You know, kind of like that constant searing pain of growth that you experience by building a fire too close to a walkway that that kind of that kind of growth yeah that's that's what's happening there <laughs> but we got a couple more things that we want to accomplish today and what do you say let's get started i went ahead and got some mud brought it on over here so that we can finish up our short mud walls and i want to say this too i'm going to do something a little different in this episode you know how much I love doing the quote-unquote trick. Well, a Crystal Daz, I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know if that's supposed, uh, Crystal Daz or Daze with D-A-Z-Z. -Z. had made a comment about how they um, would much prefer to see me not use the quote-unquote wink-wink-nod-nod trick. Eh, you know, I'll try anything. I'll try anything, and we'll, we'll kind of see where it goes from there. But yeah, I think it's a nice little challenge. I mean, we've kind of spoiled ourselves a little bit with that trick, right? Let's get back to basics. And let's see what we can do with it. Let's see if we just fall flat on our face. Or, hey, we might actually enjoy it. You never know. You never, never know. So, we have completed the structure that is our base. And I'm loving it. I think it looks really cool. I like that. Now you've got the bamboo right here and you got the trees. I might change the trees later. I don't know. I might make it all bamboo, but we'll see. Um, another thing I wanted to do, I, I was watching, whoa, hey buddy, I was watching on playback. I picked up a coconut and I figure, you know, we need some cooking vessels over here and we need to lower our weight a little bit. So why don't we just knock out two birds with one stone? And of course I didn't attend to my vitals, but we'll get to that in a second. I think we've had roasted coconut flesh before, haven't we? I don't know. We're about to find out. So, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and, since it's raining, I'm gonna use my bidon to proactively fill those with water. <clears throat> of course the rain stops. I was gonna take this as an opportunity to fill this up. Maybe it'll get a little bit more... Yeah, it's going to get a little bit more water in there. That's fine. That's fine. Just trying to be as efficient and effective as possible. Okay, yeah, we have eaten it before. I thought we had. I just couldn't remember. So, ten fats, five carbohydrates. But then it gives you two energy and two sanity. We'll just go ahead eat those guys up. And we might as well take care of him. We've still got a little bit more time on that. And I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave this can here and this beef jerky here. Oh, look at that. Boom. How about that? Can we still get across? Can we still get across? Yes, we can. What's that? A dry leaf? Huh. Oh, you know what? I think I dropped that in the last video. Okay, wonderful. So we'll attend to our vitals in a second. I want to use this guy. One thing, I mean, we obviously have proteins over here. Uh, that armadillo. We obviously have proteins over here, but just in case, uh, let, let's say let's say we're a little lazy and we don't feel like chasing one of those guys down. I figure we can make a little scrimp trap over here too. Will it let us? Okay. Ah. And I kind of want to put it, yeah, so that if I ever need to rinse off or anything. I'll still have access to the water right there. Not that this area is that big of a deal, but hey, it's all about how effective it is, right? That freaking armadillo. Another thing I want to accomplish, we talked about this in the last episode, but I didn't take care of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead 
and build, you know, I think what I'm going to do, this guy's at 1%. I'm just going to go ahead and destroy him. I've got a couple sticks. I'm sure we're going to get even a lot more. Let's just go ahead and make a tribal fire starter. We've been using that uh, hand drill for a while. Let's get something fancy schmancy. What do you say? 59 cent durability. 59 cent. <laughs> That's a uh, 50, 50 cents brother that has 9 cents in his pocket. 59% um, <laughs> durability. Nothing to shake a stick at. Okay. So another thing that I wanted to do. You know what? I didn't see him. We need to go rinse off. See if he's down here. No, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was looking for a, just a little bit bigger of a cooking vessel. No problem. Oh, and our buddy's back. Like in the last episode, he's up there singing to himself. He's got his own little personal karaoke thing going on right now. His solo act. Yeah, he's up there somewhere. I think I saw it over here. Yes, I did. It's just madness. Oh, well. Ah, there he is. Sorry, buddy. No disrespect. But, uh, I need this. I wonder if we'll get two shells. I think we do get two shells. And we do. We're heavy. Just buy a little bit, though. Let's just go ahead and wash up. I know it's kind of dangerous with that guy up there, but... He's still singing away. So... Oh, I'm gonna get rid of one of these. Come on. Yeah. That'll do us just fine. Head back up here. And we've got some upgraded vessels. Got some upgraded vessels over here. And we'll just keep them on the base here and here. You know, I should have made a coconut badong out of that. That's okay. That's okay. And we'll just throw this guy on here. We'll make a little soup. And now we've got our cooking vessels over here. So we are good to go. I like that. Fire's gone down just a little bit. Yeah. No problem. We got that taken care of. Let's get some water before we move on to our next craft. Crafting. Uh, oh, hello. And hello. I forgot about you two kiddos over there just chilling out. Wonderful. So here's what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and drop him in there. Drop him in there. And we'll set these guys, I guess right here would be, or right there, wherever you want to, wherever you want to go. Look at that. We'll go ahead and take that, so this has 30 in it, okay, good. We'll set that right there. So now we've got some stuff we can put soup in. Oh, so sorry, I got something in my eye here. Mm, I'm good. Danger averted. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all something else as well. Just a little side project, something we stumbled over. Something we stumbled over in the last video, and just so I wouldn't lose it. Wait a second. There it is. Okay. I put a ghost up, a blueprint. Yeah, oh, that's going to be fun. There's a freaking mouse over here. I put a little blueprint up over here just so I would remember where it was. I actually, I'm probably going to just push this out a little bit more. Um, yeah. It's not too far, though. About right there. What do you say? It's not going to... Yeah, I like that. I like that. So, this is going to be... Uh, what should we call this? Whiskey Alpha and Whiskey Beta? This will be Whiskey Beta? I don't know. I think that's a good idea. Let's roll with it. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, good. I was worried about my uh, 
my weight in my pack. I didn't know if that was going to be a problem or not because I had a bunch of stuff on me. And then I realized I had a bunch of junk. Um, I had a bunch of junk in my backpack. Lots of doo-doo. <laughs> Lots of doo-doo in there. And um, so I went and dropped it off and, and put it in the, um, in the storage box that we had over on Anaconda Forum. And that's where it is right now. All right, now where did that other buster fall? Let's see, we've got him and him. Here we go. So it probably kind of went somewhere over here is what I'm guessing. And there's a gator over here. A caiman. Yep, there it is. Well, I can't see him, but I can hear him. Where you at, Buster? Are you stuck? So, so this is this is great. This is lovely. Come on, but oh, oh my God, he's close. There we go. Sorry about that, sweetie. Yeah, so, okay, so this is a little, little spawning area for a caiman. That's fabulous. Way to go, gamer. <laughs> it's what I do best. I find danger, and I say, you know what? Let's just set camp up here. This place looks safe. So wonderful. That's perfect. That's, that's just what I was looking for. It really wasn't. I thought that was actually a pretty safe place, but hey, what you gonna do? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and destroy these. Just to... There we go. And... Oh my gosh! Eight caiman meat? Oh my... Okay, I'm sorry. I just... I, I hate wasting stuff, but there's no way we're going to use all that. Oh my gosh. And all those bones I destroyed and I still have four? You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to leave a couple bones over here. Oh my gosh. And, oh, I destroyed too many. That's okay. That's okay. I'm just gonna... Uh, what do I want to do? Yeah, let's run back real quick. Can't forget about those longs. Well, of course we're not gonna forget about them because we're too short on the... Um, whatchamacallit? We're too short on the... Um, you know what I'm trying to say. The, uh, the ghost. And I'm just gonna set this guy right here. We'll make a lovely gator soup, or caiman soup. Caiman soup. Eh, I'll pick him up. We we'll probably need some proteins. Yeah, we got plenty of nuts on us, so we'll be good. We'll be good to go bursting with energy. Let's go over here and see about finishing this bad boy up. What do you say? That mouse is going to drive me up the wall. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I, when was the last time we had a mouse? Was it was it season one or was it season two? I can't remember. Uh, we had a we had a mouse in the area, and um, that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> I, was, I would finish recording and while I'm editing. This is kind of a cool place. Too bad there's a caiman in the area. But I would finish editing, and uh, I would hear that meet 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 for like the next 45 minutes while I was getting everything ready for upload. It was it was good times, you know. I I enjoyed it. <laughs> I, I'm digging this area right here. I don't know that I've ever been in this area though. This is neat. This is neat and project worthy. Okay, cool. I mean, there's just a came in there. It's not a big deal. We'll work around it, right? No, we, we'll be able to coexist. Yeah, let's just go ahead and eat that. Give us a nice big boost of energy. Let's eat. Well, let's see. How are we doing? Yeah, that one's getting ready to go. And let's go ahead and eat one of these bananas. Boom. Good to go. All right, we need four and four. And we've got it. Well, we've got half of that right here. And I am fighting the urge to use that trick. I just want you to know I'm like, okay, so then I'll get these two. And then I'll cut down another tree. And then I'll, and I'll nope, nope, not going to happen. <laughs> we'll just set these right here for now. Don't want to lose these chonky boys. Speaking of chonky boys, this is not green hell related, but a friend of mine got me. Oh, here we go, buddy. 
A friend of mine got me. Oh, there's more than one. There's more than one. A friend of mine got me um, a milkweed plant. I don't know if you know what that is, but it attracts monarch butterflies. And we're, we'll, we'll snack on those guys later. I'm going to leave them right there just for weight reasons. But last year, he got it for me, and I didn't get any monarch butterflies. It grew kind of big, but it also grew kind of late in the year, um, come to find out. And this year, so fa rewind to the, to, the, uh, to the fall, okay? It freezes like four times. And I think the thing's dead. I didn't cover it. You know, I was not very responsible with it. But I just left it out there, and I was like, well, you know, it is what it is. I mean, it was a cool plant, but, well, fast forward to the spring, and I start seeing these blooms on it. Well, I'm sorry, leaves that then turn to blooms, and I'm like, oh, my God, this thing's still alive. So I went ahead and pruned it, trimmed it up, and um, I'm out there gardening about a week or two ago. And I see a monarch butterfly in my backyard. And I don't think I've ever... I've seen plenty of, you know, moths and some types of butterflies. I don't know what they're called. I, I don't really know that much about it. Um, which is kind of cool. But it was it was hanging out around the milkweed plant. And I didn't know this, but um, the only thing that monarch uh, caterpillars eat is milkweed. And uh, little did I know she was laying eggs there. So I'm out in the garden a couple of days ago, and I see these chunky boys. These guys, these guys and gals are just tearing away at the plant, and they're getting big. I'm, I'm like a proud papa. I'm like, look at my babies. It's just been, it's been awesome watching them grow. And what I'll do on my Twitter, I'll post a video of them. Um, chomping away at it and you'll see and I'll, I'll put it on I'll try to figure out how to put it on my Instagram account too I'm, I'm kind of a dork with my phone I should be able to you know what actually no the videos on my phone so that shouldn't be an issue I'll put it on my Instagram account too um, you know not green hell related but really cool that's just what's been going on in the old backyard the circle of life <laughs> a bird did eat one of them, which kind of bummed me out, but I still have a bunch of them. I know people have told me I can cover them and things like that, but it's it's in the center of where all my green beans are, so I can't really cover it without damaging those plants. It's kind of, you know, it is what it is. Nature's nature's nature, so um, that's where that's where I'm at with that. And I've only lost one. I'm gonna go back out there tomorrow, and if they're all gone, I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> in a bad way. I feel like I neglected them and abandoned them in their time of need. <laughs> but if not, I'm going to have some awesome monarch butterflies. First they do the, what is it called, a chrysalis? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's kind of like, I'm, pr I'm pronouncing it how it's spelled. But it'd be really cool to have some, some butterflies just kind of hanging out, chilling. All right, here we go. Yeah, look at this, look at this, just coming together, lickety split. And it's nice, it's very convenient having that uh, first satellite base, you know, Whiskey Outpost Alpha over there. And then we can just kind of build from here. I don't think I can put anything over here. No, that's okay. I'm gonna put something over here though. Okay, cool. And I think, yeah, my blade is about to go. So we're going to have to act fast. And I guess, yeah, what we'll do, we, we'll chop this guy down. And um, once we, you know, now that we've got it chopped down, after I think one game day, it's, it's one or two game days, it will disappear, the whole thing. And then we'll be able to keep building around it. I mean, we can build around it right now, so it's not a big deal. Um, so we can build right here. Looks like we can probably build right here once we clear this guy out of here. And can we build right here? We can build right there as well. How about... Oh, no way. I love that. Okay. How about right here? It says it's red, but I wonder if it's because of this tree right here. Because I think the stumps will go away after a while. 
Huh. Okay. Okay. We are eventually going to need more long sticks to build other stuff. I'll leave him there for now. And we'll continue to build. I do want to, you know what, while I can, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build over here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's cool. And then we'll build out over here. Hopefully we'll be able to build out over there. And then maybe we'll start building up. It's not going to be a huge, massive base. You know me. I'm all about more the uh, aesthetic, the visual appeal to it. Not necessarily can I build the biggest, biggest, craziest base. Sometimes we get a little crazy. But I prefer to turn things on their head in a different way. Just bringing something different for y'all. And, uh, you know, it's, and that, that holds true for this island, too. I know the standard thing is to kind of build on Anaconda Island. And we did. I wanted to put something a little different there. And we're building out here our little vacation home. And we've even got that little stream in the back where we've got our shrimp trap. A lot, a lot of possibilities in this area. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's that one. This other one's got to be further over here. There you are, buddy. Okay. Do we have enough? We don't. Mm, I, do I see? That Cayman's still on my mind. I'm like, okay, how big of a problem is she going to be over here? She's found me yet again. <laughs> What's a boy to do? <laughs> what the? Oh my god. At least we got some Tapir over here. I didn't know there were Tapir that chilled out over here. That's great. I'm loving that. You know, I think what I am going to do... How do we want to do this? I don't know that I'm ready to build entrances and stuff yet. You know what? I'll just go, I'm will just i just going to go ahead and cut this down. And we'll figure out a use for it. That's not going to be an issue at all. If not, I can always haul it back over to Anaconda Farm and um, put it over there temporarily. We've got all those uh, long stick holders over there. Okay. So, well, actually, let's just check to see if it'll let us build it here now. Okay, it will. It will. I love that. Okay, I love that. That's beautiful. Let's do one more of these. It's going to start getting dark. And, uh... Ooh, oh my, that looked like a tribesman's face right there. I thought he was going to way yanga me. <laughs> Luckily he wasn't. That was no way yanga Okay, and I completely lost those long sticks. This is the one that I cut down. It went this way, right? Give me my long sticks. Come on, buddy. There we go. And this is just the basic framework, but I really like what I see so far. This is looking really good. Okay, so it went that way. Did it? Did they get? Did they strike the tree and go up here? This is the downside of leaving a lot of the brush, a lot of the native brush here. You lose stuff a lot. Okay, let's gather our thoughts. Whoops. There you are, buddy. Get away. Go on, get. Okay, once again, we cut... Where's that stinking tree? It was over here. I went whack whack and went that way. Okay, well, we're just going to have to move on. And the good news is, is that we've already got two long sticks over there. We've just got to keep a... I've just got to keep a better eye on where they fall. Man, we've got a lot of wood resources over here. One, two... There they are. Okay. Well, that was easy. Put this right here. Take these boys back. continue our adventure in building. So 
Sorry, buddy. I know. Okay. All right. Where were those? I was going to say, don't tell me you lost them already, gamer. Disco. So, wait a second, what time is it? Oh, okay, okay. So, you can kind of see the basic framework that I'm going for right here. And then we're going to build this bad boy up, up, up. You know, I think, I think we got time. I think we got time. There we go. Huh, how do we want to do this? We've got plenty. And you know, maybe the second floor will be bamboo, because we've got so, uh, plenty of bamboo resources. Of course, I don't want to just completely strip the area. That's not my jam. Aha! -ha, there's one. I know, buddy. I know. I'm interrupting your day. You gotta go screaming at me. Ah. Oh, I thought that was one. I was like, here we go. Let's just follow this trail, see where it leads. It leads absolutely nowhere. Okay. That's okay. Set this guy right here. This will give us some rope as well. That's what's nice about these ones with the leaves all uh, with the leaves all over them. They also drop rope right here. Huh. I wonder if that was the other long stick I was looking for. I don't know. Yeah, I know, buddy. I know. You told me the first time. And I heard you the first time. So, here we go. Yeah, it's getting dark. Okay. And, of course, I lost the other... Ah, I did not lose it. Okay, good. But I lost everything else. Okay. <laughs> Let's just drop this right here. Let's let's uh, let's hopefully we go back and and find it. It was near a big rock. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Okay, good. Okay, so there's the tree. Okay, perfect. Got it. That's lovely. And then we just head back this way. It's right there. Oh, poor Jake. You know what Jake could use? Oops. What am I doing? No, I was doing... Okay. I could use some bananas. Mmm. Does he need to? No. And I don't want to quite... No, that's a waste. I'm not going to have him eat that just yet. So, okay. Here's another one. Perfect. And it's pretty close to the base, too. And it's... Falling in the direction of the base. Well, oh, the, those those tapir, they make this weird growling sound. It's it's you know growls in general put me on edge like immediately. It doesn't a hundred percent sound cat like, but it sounds cat like enough to to get you to jump. Just not I, would, I don't know if jump is the word, but it's like up. Oh, okay, be aware, be hyper vigilant. Here we go. Perfect. We've got our basic framework down. I like this. Ah, oh, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is so cool. I love this. It's just kind of like this hidden gem over here. And it's got this wonderful, wonderful area with, with possibilities. The possibilities are endless. No, there's no, there's no pasta here. There's no spaghetti. Not in the Amazonian rainforest. Wonderful. So we've got so you know if y'all have recommendations on what we should do, I love hearing y'all's feedback. Just let me know what you think we should do with this next. Um, yeah, snag you. Let me know what you think we should do with it next because okay, good, our fire's still there. Because y'all have come up with great ideas in the past, and uh, I think I, I think we're gonna have a three level base. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be kind of tiered, almost like this one or not. But I just have some real basic ideas 
on what I'd like to do with it. Stoke the old fire. I love. I don't. Has it always been that way where it gets brighter when you when you add more, uh, you know, sticks or um, just you know flammables to it? I I hadn't noticed that until recently. I know, buddy. I'm sorry. Don't. Okay, we got meat soup in there. You know, this would be perfect as a soup. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of the rain. And head on over to our water filter. Need, no, we're good there. Okay, good, wonderful. Well, we got a lot done. Um, we finished up Whiskey Outpost Alpha, and now we're working on Whiskey Outpost Beta over there. If you got a better name for it, let me know. Because <laughs> I just came up with that on a whim. Um, I'm gonna pick this up as a matter of fact now that I think about it. We could we could put this to good use Somewhere There we go. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel It would mean a lot to me. Also check out our streaming um, This video probably came out after our most recent stream, which is gonna be Thursday uh, 6 p.m. and we also do it on Fridays at 6 p.m. Both of those are central time um, If that video has already, you know gone live and everything you can still view it in our playlist. I put all of our streaming live videos uh, in our playlist called The Joy of Co-op. Check it out. It's got, God, right, 10, 10 or so, if not more than 10 hours of video of us streaming live. The first two episodes are insane, but they are a lot of fun. But with that out of the way, I, need to rest. I know, Jake. I wish you happy building, safe building, and many blessings. Y'all be safe out there. Thank you.